Hello and welcome back to another video. So today we have a new tractor on the farm and as you might have guessed it is a Massey Ferguson and it's not our old contractors 60 to 80. It's a Massey Ferguson 5445 and it's our brand new tractor. And yes it has a, a front loader. Those spikes on the front are actually off the 60 to 80. They're our old contractors uh, spikes that are on it at the moment but there you go that is the tractor the massey ferguson 5445 and that's it from the other side so in this video i'm, I'm just going to uh, uh, give you a bit of detail about it the manufacturer the year the uh, horsepower all that good stuff and then uh, we'll hop inside the cab and uh, we'll see what it's like inside it's not an original Massey Ferguson front loader that's on it. It's a Ross Moor FL60 is the front loader that's on it. And there's the back end. You have your hydraulics there. You have your lift arms, your hitch. That one, just the one on the 6280, so you can suck it out, pick up the trailer and suck it back in. Uh, that doesn't have that feature um, because this tractor is year of manufacture is 2008 you also have your buttons on the outside to operate your your lift arms and all that so you know it's still very fairly fancy and yes you have them on both sides you have it on the right wing and you have them on the left wing as well now i'm going to uh, uh, tell you all the facts about the tractor and then we'll have a look inside the cab the massey ferguson 5445 came with two model years one of them was produced between 2004 and 2008 while the other one was produced in 2008 to 2013 the only difference is the older models the one between 2004 and 2008 uh, were slightly smaller in horsepower and slightly different engine sizes and all that but the one that we're going to focus on today is the one that was produced between 2008 and 2013 because that's what we have uh, on our farmyard today. So the Massey Ferguson uh, 5445 is a utility tractor. Uh, it was made in a factory, I'm going to butcher this name, uh, Bivos, France. And the original price was $60,000 for the four-wheel drive version with the cab. The Massey Ferguson 5445 engine power, it had 95 horsepower. Uh, the PTO had 75 horsepower and the drawbar had 56.6 horsepower. The engine, it had a Perkins 4.4 litre four cylinder diesel engine and the fuel tank came in 38 gallons or 50 gallons. It came in a two wheel drive version and a four wheel drive version. Uh, the final drives was an inboard plantary. The differential lock was electro hydraulic rear. It had power steering. The brakes were hydraulic wet discs. Trailer brakes were hydraulic. The cab was a two post folding or OPS. A cab optional with air conditioning. And the transmission, it was a 16 speed partial power shift. The rear PTO was independent and it came in 540 RPM or 1000 RPM. The hydraulics, they were an open center type and closed center loading sensing. There was two to four valves. Uh, the pump flow was 15 GPM open center, 26 GPM open optional, and 29 GPM closed center. The tractor's hitch, the rear type was a two, control, electronic draft control, and the rear lift could lift anywhere between 3,545 kg or 4,168 kg. Electrical, so the ground was a negative, the charging system was an alternator, the charging amps was 80, and the battery volts were 12. Engine detail, it was a Perkins um, 1104 turbocharged intercooled diesel, four cylinder liquid cooled. The emissions was tier three, the power was 95 horsepower, uh, the fuel system was common rail, air cleaner was dry, starter was electric, and the starter volts were 12. 
Transmission was a Dyna 4, the type was a partial power shift, gears 16 forward and reverse, the clutch was a wet disc and four power shift gears in four ranges. So here you can see how fast it'll go in all the gears. So in first gear uh, with full throttle it would go 1.3 miles per hour or 2.1 kilometers per hour and in top gear with full throttle it would go 25 miles per hour or 40 kilometers per hour so it had a 40 key gearbox and now let's have a quick look at inside the cab it has an air suspension seat in it just like our old contractors 6280 this lever here is for pushing the seat forward or backwards uh, that's for your backrest I think and this is for the air suspension to either lift the seat up or lift the seat down so that's to let air out of the air suspension seat and to let the seat down lifting it up pumps air into the air suspension seat and lifts it up and there's your handbrake so you have comfort in the tractor itself with the air suspension seat and that's the official original Massey Ferguson seat that's in it you also have a, a passenger seat which doesn't really look as comfortable uh, our old contractors 6280 has uh, material like this, a bit of sponge in it, a comfort in it, and it has an actual backrest. So the passenger seat in the 6280 is a bit more comfortable looking than this one here. But at least you do have a passenger seat in it, and that makes it legal to carry a passenger in this tractor. And here you have all your lights and work lights and your hazard lights. Uh, that's for forward neutral and that's for your reverse you have your indicators and wipers lever here and you have your key in an ignition and to start your tractor there you have your lever here for your front loader and there's a button on it there as well i believe that's the horn you have your gear lever here so first second third and fourth um this is your hand throttle so if you push that forward that's uh moves the foot throttle as well so that's the hand throttle if you were agitating or topping uh, or anything like that you'd use your hand throttle to keep it at a, a steady and constant speed or rev those are your spools for your um, hydraulics this is your lift so that's the lift arm up that's it in neutral or stationary motion and that's to drop down your lift arms to push them down you have your four-wheel drive button here, so you can engage it or disengage it. This is how you engage or disengage your PTO. And this lever here, uh, if you want it in a 540 or a 1000 speed. Now, I'm not a professional in any of these big fancy tractors, but uh, I don't exactly know what any of this stuff does. But for those who do know, it's there as well in the tractor. You do have that in the 6280 as well, our old contract is 6280, so I still don't know what it does. The brother does, uh, but I don't, not, not yet. You have plenty of view in the tractor, you have your, your good mirrors and there's plenty of windows as well. You have your back window and you also have your window down here to, for an extra view down there, which is also in the 6280. It has a sunroof which does open. It has a back window which does open. Uh, you have your little uh, radio there or your stereo. And there you have your fan and air conditioning and heat. You can adjust the, the fan speed here, the intensity of it. And then you either control the temperature here. You have your hot and then you have your cold. And as I mentioned, the sunroof does open. Uh, so if you are a hot day, you can have it opened. And your back window as well. You just turn your little tin there. And push the back window out and then you pull it back in and then you lock it to secure it in place you have five um, blowers or vents here so if you're too hot in the summer or too cold in the winter you can use your gauge here you have plenty of vents uh, blowing at your direction to keep you warm or to keep you cool and you have your little side windows that open as well and close it's closed there it's kind of hard do doing it with holding a camera and that's it secured and then that 
and push it out and it's opened. You have one either side, right and left. And you have your worn and stickers as well, which is in every tractor because health and safety. I almost forgot about the dash. You have your uh, fuel gauge, your rev gauge and your temperature gauge. This is, shows you what gear you're in. So you're 1A, 1B or 2C, 3D, whatever. Whatever gear you're in is displayed there. And then here it, it shows you how fast your PTO is spinning per minute. These two arrows here light up. So if you're in a forward one, uh, this will light up. And then if you're in your reverse, uh, this one will light up. Similar, very well the same as uh, in the 6280. You have buttons here for your beacon and for your back window wiper. You have the motor right there. And that is the Massey Ferguson 5445. So my synopsis of it, my rough uh, view of it, it is a nice tractor. It has plenty of horsepower. It's a nice small tractor for like small farmers like us with a small farm with medium sized land. We've about a hundred ish acres of land. So it's a nice small four wheel drive tractor with 90 to 95 horsepower. So, you know, if you wanted a tractor with step up in horsepower nearer the 100 horsepower, but you want to keep the tractor relatively sm small, since our farm, we only have small tractors. I mean, the smallest tractor we have is a Massey Ferguson 135, and the biggest tractor we have is an International Harvester 674. So if you wanted to step up from that, but keep the tractor's physical size relatively small, the Massey Ferguson 5445 is a pretty good shout. And obviously the front loader on it is also a bonus for when you're stacking bales and all that. It's a really good bonus that. There's comfort in it. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's an all-round good utility tractor. Don't know if you can see it, but the back tyres are 16.9 radius 34s. And the front tyres are 340 slash 85 radius 24s. And if you just look at the tyres on the back of our International, uh, they're Radius 36s. And these ones are Radius 34, so there's about 2 inches in the difference. The ones on the Internationals are 36, these are 34s. But you can see there's a bit of distance between the tyre itself and the mudguard. So if you wanted to put on uh, a bigger Radius sized tyre, and maybe even a... A thicker tyre if you want it, even though those are fairly thick enough. But if you wanted to put on a thicker tyre and a higher radius size tyre, I think you could be able, because uh, you have a nice gap between the tyre and the um, mu uh, the mudguard there. And I think they are probably the original sized wheels that are on a from standard, from factory. So again, for any small farmers out there like ourselves looking for... Um, a four wheel drive tractor that's nearing the 100 horsepower mark that's um, relatively small in physical size it's relatively small it's a decent sized for uh, smaller farmers out there uh, looking for a four wheel drive tractor the Massey Ferguson 5445 I would recommend it is a very good tractor perfect size and uh, I would really recommend it. And also for those before I end the video, this actually isn't our tractor. We actually didn't buy this tractor. Uh, it is um, something up with the four wheel drive in it, uh, a pack or something. And the brother is going sorting that out for this man. So <laughs> it's not actually our tractor. We didn't actually buy it. So there's your little disclaimer. But that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you're not too disappointed that it's not actually our tractor and that you're not going to be seeing it in uh, any future videos um, anytime soon. But you know, I think it was a good video, all the less. Um, but anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please do give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and turn on the bell icon to be notified of every future video I upload. Don't forget to check out my merch and the gate mate. The links to them will be down in the description. And that is it for me. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video very soon. Take care.